I know that recently it's been reported, and you've talked about this, that you and Elon Musk, the owner of Twitter, had a uh, rift. He became convinced for some odd reason that Substack, which you write for, is a threat to Twitter. And uh, that led to uh, basically a dispute between you. As I understand, he wanted you to leave Substack to join Twitter, and you refused to do. And by the way, the people who accuse you of doing Elon Musk bidding have been conspicuously silent on that, that you refused Elon Musk's demands there. But what does this mean for the Twitter files? And uh, can you give us any uh, sense of what's coming next? Well, we still have a lot of stuff. I mean, we have, a, we have a, you know, I wouldn't say a lifetime, but we've got a lot of material. So we're going to report all that out as much as we can. Um, I'm sad about it. Uh, yeah, I had, I like Elon. I, I think he did a, a really great thing. Um, I think there's a misunderstanding here, uh, and it's unfortunate. I hope he, he continues it with other reporters. Um, you'd be a great choice, you know, if he, if he, if he decided to go that way. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's, it's unfortunate. Um, and, uh, you know, he's, he's indicated that he doesn't really want, um, the, he thinks that all good things will really have to come to an end. Uh, he's made these sort of elliptical comments about it. It's too bad. Just one last thing about that. You know, this whole business about me maybe going to Twitter or using the, the, the new subscription service that they have. And, um, you know, I was I was trying to protect Elon, actually, in that situation. Like I, my understanding of the whole thing, and I was trying to communicate this to him, is that the Twitter files wouldn't be taken seriously if, if people saw that there was any kind of financial, even theoretical financial relationship between the two of us. Um, and th this had to be public, um, you know, that, that, that there was no, that, that there was no kind of connection. Uh, and he would, he would be getting lots of negative PR if, if I had done that movie, he would never hear the end of it. Uh, but he didn't see it that way, which is unfortunate. So, um, but you know, it was a good thing while it lasted. And I think we learned a lot of good, good stuff. And now we're in a new chapter of the Twitter files where you get threatened with prison over it by right, a member yeah, of fair game. Congress. That's what they call it. <laughs> Operation Fair Game. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure uh well, you know, hey, hey, look, uh five five years. Um yeah, I'll get in shape. You know, who knows? <laughs> yeah. I know you have a pass as a basketball player. I know you have a pass. <laughs> As a basketball player, Matt, you play, you you played even semi professionally in Europe, so th this could give you a chance to reconnect with the game. <laughs> I could play in Europe. Let's not make it sound like I played in Serbia. I played in my I played in Mongolia. All right, so hey. Division three, all right, uh, level basketball. But uh, yeah, no, I I definitely would, would, would love to play in the yard. Maybe I'll join Donald Trump in, in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Walk around with his uh, secret security, a secret <laughs> service detail. So that'd be cool. Would he have secret service in prison? Probably would. Yeah, <laughs> would. <laughs> I'm convinced that that he's already looking forward to to the reality show because it would be the best reality <laughs> show. It would be called Shot Caller, and he <laughs> he would just walk around the yard with his secret service detail and just just administer beatings all day long it would be the greatest television in, in, in like <laughs> in history i'm sorry uh, this is my private but, matt uh, taibbi uh, writes at racket.news and you can find all his reporting on the twitter files and a lot more there matt taibbi thanks so much for joining us thanks so much for having me on we're telling jokes in nashville honolulu los angeles northampton massachusetts syracuse cohos new york hartford connecticut baltimore chicago rosemont san diego and more go to jimmydoor.com to see get a link for all those tickets plus you can watch my new special covid lies are funny <laughs> <laughs>